Real quick before the video gets started, just want to let you guys know that I am currently selling a t-shirt, the Easy Mode t-shirt. A shirt for those of you gamers like me who don't have anything to prove to anyone and enjoy games for the fun, for the story, and for feeling like a friggin' superhero. So what are you waiting for? Head to the link down in the description below and go pick one up before the end of the day on May 31st, at which point they will be gone. <laughs> Greetings, Poke fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Uranium playthrough. My very first journey through this banned Pokemon fan game. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to answer the comment question. And if you missed the last episode, make sure you check it out. So you know what the booty is going on! Also, shout out to my sponsor, Controller Chaos. You want to pick up Quick Ball Pattern Xbox 360 controller or Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Make sure you do so in the link in the description below. I do get a commission if you decide to pick one up. But now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to continue through the labyrinth. Do we have in front? Uh, yeah, let's put blue in front. I'd keep Brian in front, but Brian, like, is too slow to run from anything. So that's not a good idea. A fighting type monster. We'll put Brian in front. I'm only recording this about an hour after I recorded yesterday's episode. Because I'm trying to... The next... Probably, you know, this, these next several episodes are going to happen all in, in one go. Chupacho! They're going to happen in one go because I want to get ahead <laughs> on these episodes. Because I've definitely... Like, the first three this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm pretty sure all of them were either recorded or edited or both on the same day that they were posted. And that was... Uh, not easy. <laughs> it's just stressful. I need to. I need to. I need to get ahead on things. A push off. You'll be aerial ace to do. Yeah. Very much looking forward to slicer learning acrobatics in a few levels. A Vila card. I don't know what that is, but it's probably a fighting type. Okay. Never mind. That is a poison dark type. That is the evolution of that vampire bat thing. We need to just kill you. Have a berry. Okay, two hit KO. Okay, that's gonna do nothing. Ah, please be enough to KO! Viva la revolucion! That's right, judo. Max repel, okay. A hiker! You probably have rock types! Or fighting types, in which case Brian is good against but What is this guy's name? Huais! That was nuts. It goes for surf, it's neutral, but it's still our strongest move. Dual chop, what are you chopping me with? Did that animation have a shockwave or a slash and then a shockwave? That was weird. Oh wow, that almost KO'd. In one hit. Curse you with the spikes! No! All right, let's see if Brian can clutch this drill gan. Yes, we can. Ground dark. Right to the ground, but I bet we Oko a surf. Or right to the dark, I mean. Booyah! Good work, Brian! Yes! Go! Go, Brian! Go! Let's give you your quick claw back. We'll put blue in front. Uh... Lucky egg. The labyrinth means I don't know where to go. Mo drill. Guys! I, I don't have enough tools to cut a hole in this thing. I need mo drill. That's what that Pokemon makes me think of. A chubacho! Cool looking Pokemon, but my team's pretty set. <laughs> Hello, Battle Girl Felice, another Chupacho! Flamethrower. Oh! Speedy punching. Aw, oh, man, seriously? Was it poison fighting, I'm guessing? Extreme speed. Alright, we'll get rid of Dig. I never use. Actually, we'll get rid of Ember. 
well, no, we're gonna, we'll get rid, no, because Dig can help me get out of a case if I'm in a sticky situation. We'll, we'll get rid of Ember. I never use Ember or Dig, but like, Dig can, has other purposes. Primeape, yes. Amulet coin time. I honestly kind of forgot that I had Dig to like exit caves until now. Hero Loon. Yes. Uh, we'll give Brian some more experience because he is now the lowest member of the team. And I, Oh, that was the doorbell. If you heard that, I apologize. I hear Jubilee going to get it. Okay. Just want to make sure that she answers it in case it's like a package that needs signing for. <laughs> Ah, Brian, yes! All right, let's heal Brian up. With some of the super potions that I bought. And get rid of the poison on blue. We'll keep blue in front. Blue can run from things. Oh, surfing, okay. Oh, wait. Nah, I went in a circle! Nuts! A labyrinth for you. Leave me alone, tub jaw. You, you scarred me for life. They're one of these things. I was doing that glitch for a second where I was still hearing that. All right, I might use a max repel in here. I know I said I wasn't gonna use repels because the shiny chances are so high, but so far I'm making it like three freaking steps. It has arena trap or shadow tag, maybe? What is this thing, a ghost type? All right, so there's shadow tag, we're using a repel. The music glitches are kind of weird in this game. Like the music is now gone. The game sounds are still around, but the music's gone, and it's really creepy. That's a psychic? So we're actually gonna lead with Slicer. What? Oh, come on! Seriously? What? Okay guys, I'm back. I don't know what caused the game to crash just now, but it did, it crashed. Thankfully it crashed early in the episode, so I only had to just like rebattle those like two trainers that I fought. Um, but I got back to where I was, didn't do the battles exactly the same because I couldn't remember exactly what I did, but let's hope that it doesn't crash again because that was really sad <laughs> that I had to just do all that again. But at least I'm getting double money from this guy. Umbreon. Ah, uh, no. Because we are good against both with the bugs. Um, but yeah, I was... What was I going to say? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what caused that crash. Ah, another one of these losers. Let me run. Don't have shadow tag. Ah, uh, it has shadow tag. They all have shadow tag, don't they? I'll just steel wing it maybe twice, because I don't think any of my moves will oko it. Oh, whoa! Oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> all right, let's put Brian in front. I do have a repel active. Um, Brian's got the lucky egg right now because he's the lowest level. An expert belt. Oh, that's kind of cool. That powers up super effective moves, right? Is there anybody that would benefit from that? I, I could just give that to somebody who's just not holding anything. Why don't we give it to Jelen? Because Jelen, I'm not going to give the Lucky Egg anytime soon because he's the highest level Pokemon on the team. Might as well just give it to him. Oh, we're progressing! A dive spot. Can't do that yet, unfortunately. 
Another one of these freaking things! I think they're pure, yeah, they're pure ghosts. But they also appear to be super weak, which is nice. Just o code it with a neutral hit. Hmm. A Dusk Ball. Wish I had Dive. We're already out of the cave? Wow, that did not last very long. Repel's effect wore off. I. Uh, yeah, my patience for this is waning. Alright, let's fight this guy. Get some... Oh! Dang it, we're the lower level one. All right, let's go Slicer Amulet Coin. I'm using Slicer a lot because he's holding the pretty coin. Plus, Slicer's not gonna be able to hold, he's not gonna be able to hold items for much longer because he'll get acrobatics, which will be incredibly powerful, just can't hold items. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, Brian, you're 41, nice. I clicked too quickly. I'm just gonna say yes and go into Jelen. Because it's gonna be a water type. Boom! Oh, good! <laughs> oh, that thing is really weird looking. That is Fulrog's. Fortog Fulrog's final evolution. We didn't Oko it? What is its special defense? Oh, man! Yikes! Expert Belt Thunderbolt and it didn't Oko. That thing's gotta have. Yikes! Okay, let's actually, instead of using a, a potion, we're gonna Giga Drain this. And get a lot of HP back. There we go. How much back is that gonna give me? About half. Send in another Course of Reef. That would be ideal. <laughs> Jelen gets two full levels from that battle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Traded Pokemon. Fight me! He's, he's got the HM Dive. Oh, I want the HM Dive. Whoa, that thing is so cool! That's Glaslug's evolution! Aw, oh, man. That is such a cool looking Pokemon. That is such a cool looking Pokemon. It's Water Ice and like, kind of, that's all that did. Wow, all right, you have very good special attack. Special defense, I mean. Yoman is our guy for this. I can not for your ice beams. All right, we no way we outspeed, so let's just go for a revenge. Yeah. O code, that stupid. Well, we didn't O code it. It was it was already kind of damaged. That is a cool looking Pokemon. That that's probably one of my favorites. Sablo. Yeah, go Parallax. Swift. Four times super effective on everything. I think he learns Hyper Voice at 45, I want to say. A Jerdos. Mm, Parallax is still the best for this. Aha! I'm a special attacker. I cannot if you lower my physical attack. I don't know why I stumbled over that word so much. <laughs> if it has two types, it okos it. It's ridiculous. Tub of real, water dark. Probably knows an ice move. Yoman's so weak though. Parallax is still the best. Man, people weren't kidding. They're just like, get a good Nucleon with a good special attack and speed nature, and you just win the game. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can, like, even with just Swift, I can Oko anything that is a dual type. It's, like, so far is what has been the case. If it has one type, it's less certain. But, like... I mean, I'm gonna learn Hyper Voice. That's gonna be even stronger. You see bubbles underneath it, it means a Pokemon's down below. All right, another Tabaril. Freaking water, dark types. Go for a bite, I would love that. That'll do nothing. 
Same difference. That'll hurt, but revenge? Well, okay. No, it won't! What? With... Wow, that thing is bulky as all balls. That was a 120 power revenge. Stab, super effective. I'm only one level lower and it only did like three quarters? Jesus! All right, we gotta bring in Jelen, unfortunately. Yomon kind of depends on his revenge is okoing. If they don't, I'm kind of in trouble. Alright, got a chunk of that back, which is nice. Vaporeon. Yeah, we're gonna switch. I wanna beat it with Brian. <laughs> and Blue's not getting any experience either, because everything here's a water type. We'll yawn it. What does that do? Defense? Okay, physical defense is fine. Haha! -ha! You're dumb! Jesus Christ, that's all that does! <laughs> I hope Brian learns Psychic sometime soon. That's fine, there weren't any stat changes. Ah oh, man! <laughs> Cutting through my side beam PP like crazy! What is Muddy Water's chance to lower the accuracy? I don't even know. I right, need a super potion for Brian. There's a sailor we should battle. Calm mind. Okay. Brian would probably benefit from that if I decided to. I've been here all day and still nothing, not even a bite. I just hate hearing that over and over in my head. Anyway, kid, maybe you could do better. I mean, you can't be as bad at this as me. I guess that's why I'm a sailor, not a fisherman. Here, take this. I definitely won't be needing it. Oh! Back to the cruise ship life for me, I guess. Or maybe I'll find those pirates rumored to be near Angelore Town. Our pirates? What is this? A full heal? Is this a healing house? Definitely a healing house. Alright, well... Wasted a super potion on Brian, but whatever. Okay, our electric type does already know it, but can any of our other special attackers learn it? Yoman can learn it? Yoman, how are you learning all these ridiculous special moves? You're a dark fighting sheep. You're supposed to punch and bite things, not electrocute them. You are so confusing. All right, fisherman. Oh, it's a double battle? What? <laughs> All right, well, this is fine. We get double money. Actually, I'm gonna side beam the Ludicolo in case Aerial Lace doesn't knock it out. Okay, it did, cool. All right, Slicer's strapped in the vortex. You stop. Booyah. All right, Brian is gonna stay in front. Even though he's not the lowest level because these are swimmers and fishermen. Freaking, what do you call it? Uh, Blue is not gonna be very helpful in this situation. Okay, we take those, we take those. Hydro pumping is fine. Whoa, what? Wow, 
Why are you doing these things? What do we bring in now? I guess Jelen. That wasn't a smart switch. That was not a smart switch. Okay, it didn't do very much. But that was not my smartest switch. Then think about, oh, it's a psychic type. It's gonna go for a bug move. Let's switch in another Pokemon weak to bug. <laughs> Brain ore. Yeah, we'll switch for that. Yaman! Beat up! Yaman evolves soon, I'm pretty sure. My goodness, that thing is very bulky. Rest! It's fine, it'll sleep for two turns. And okay, it doesn't have a chesto berry, I was a little bit worried about that. Finished it off. Thankfully, Snor did very little damage. 43. When does Yomon evolve? I feel like it's... I feel like it's 44. I love the animation for Shockwave. It's just like a... Like, just instantly just shocks them. <laughs> Sidene, that's the water steel, right? Yoman's not healthy enough. Yeah. Booyah! An ultra ball, cool. A black belt! I'll fight you with Brian! Hello! Ah, uh, why you gotta know that? Do we outspeed it? I'm worried about Assurance doing a ton of damage. I'm trying to put it to sleep because I know its ability. Every time I hit it with a super effective move, I'm gonna boost its attack. So I wanna try and KO it before it has the chance to use any of its boosted attack. What? No! Oh wait, it doesn't boost the attack if it's asleep. All right, cool. Well, it was fine, turned out fine. Feliger. Oh. My lord, that is the final evolution of those cats from early in the playthrough. You are crazy looking. Its ability makes it instantly go to sleep? Survive, 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 survive. Yes! Haha! -ha! Let's go! Good work, yo man! Bariet! Man, we always end up seeing its evolutions in battle before we end up actually evolving ours. Like, right before. Well, there you go, guys. That's Yoman's final evolution. Okay, that's not fantastic. It's fine, it's fine. Parallax just comes in and kills it. All right, I don't know how far we are from the next town though, so I feel like I should just go back and heal. Where are we on the map? We seem kind of close, maybe we don't have to. 
What do I put in front? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that from you. We're gonna put blue in front. Cause well, but we're, go we're gonna put blue in front, but try to avoid trainers. Oh, I should give you the quick law. Where is it? There it is. Cause I do wanna try to not have to go back to heal. a super one because I doubt I'll need a max. Yes, we made it! Let's go! Didn't waste potions. Oh boy. Okay. I really want to evolve Yoman because I'm like 99% sure it's at 44. I think the developers really like Hoenn music, because I feel like this is a Hoenn song. This is like Verdant Turf, right? And like the cave we were in earlier was the Cave of Origin theme. The devs like Hoenn, which means they have good taste. Because Hoenn is the best. Alright, let me fight this girl. Hello, Melanie, I am going to defeat you and your silly little cell kid that is a silly Pokemon and it's gonna die. Balls. Not very effective. Is it Psychic? Resists fighting in dark. What is it, Water Bug? What resists fighting in dark? Dang it! I was hoping he'd go for an attack. Gotta keep hoping he'll go for an attack. Okay, he went for an attack, let's go! What type is this thing? All right, we finished it. Is this gonna be enough to evolve Yoman? No, it's not. Okay, we have to switch, because otherwise we're gonna get obliterated by the clamp and other stuff. Oh my. That was a lot of damage. It's fine, it's fine. I want Yoman to get this experience anyways. Okay, unfortunately, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> yep, don't care about hydro pumps. All right, please let that be enough experience for Yomon to get to 44. Yes! What? Well, I found the evolution of Cell Kid. Is it fairy? Is it water fairy? Fairy resists both dark and fighting. It's gotta be fairy. Yes! Finally! <laughs> sprite is that Ambrose's sprite that's hilarious they like give it a sprite with a long neck even though it doesn't have a long neck 
140 attack stat. 131. So it now has... Yoman now has the highest offensive stat of anyone on the team. Fun fact for you. Who are holding the quick claws? You should have a quick claw now that you're evolved. And you should have the lucky egg. Is Blue's lagging behind? Now we're almost there. Booyah, Silverport Town. All right, let, let's do a little bit of poking around, but not too much, because we are getting near to where the video is probably gonna wrap it up. The Pokemon Sirentide has a human-like crime and a feminine look. She tempts wayward sailors to their doom. Oh, Siren, I gotcha. To catch a rare Daikatuna, you have to use a metal fishing line and special bait, otherwise their sword will cut right through. Okay. I'm still looking for the next gen that's in Snowbank Town to the east. This town seems pleasant. Silverport was founded as a fishing outpost. Most of the residents sail out to sea each day to fish, including my husband. Huh. Well, this seems like a quaint little town. A fresh sea breeze brings new promise. I like how many, like, pleasant towns are here, you know? Here in East Tain, our pirates are all across the oceans, and no one knows what the ninjas are up to. Are we in One Piece? Ninjas and pirates? I feel like, are ninjas in One Piece? I've only seen a couple episodes of One Piece. <laughs> oh! Yes! Ghost! Okay! We have an offensive ghost type move now. Because Nucleon's, Nucleon's hidden power is ghost type. Good to know, all right guys. Pokemon Lab. All right, that seems cool, but also kind of seems like that's where some sort of cutscene's gonna happen, so you should probably skip that. This is the way to the north. Lanthanite Cave. We found the Ice Cave. Not one of these stupid things. Just gotta KO those things immediately because they're just not gonna let you run because of Shadow Tag. All right, guys. Well, um, I think this is a good spot to wrap it up for the episode. I'm gonna go get that flamethrower PP back. <laughs> um, I think this is a good spot to wrap it up for the episode. We evolved Yoman, which is great. Figured out that our hidden power type was Ghost. I meant to do calculations for it at the end of, was it last episode that I taught a hidden power or was it this episode? I think it was last episode. I don't even remember, but guys, Next episode, we're going to go check out what's going on in the lab. And if it's nothing exciting, we're going to move on through the ice cave. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. Make sure to answer the comment question. Make sure you pick up an easy mode t-shirt before they are gone on May 31st. Link in the description. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, fans. Gotta catch them all.